In recent economic developments, Russia has risen to become the fourth largest economy globally in terms of purchasing power parity PPP, overtaking Japan with an economic worth of $6.5 trillion. This information comes from revised World Bank data released in early June, marking a significant shift in the global economic landscape. Previously, Russia had surpassed Germany to become the fifth largest economy in adjusted terms, as reported in August by Main Intelli News. Germany, facing multiple economic shocks and cut off from cheap Russian gas, has stagnated and fallen to sixth place. PPP GDP measurement is favored by many economists because it accounts for local price differences in nominal prices, similar to the economist Big Mac Index. For instance, a burger in Moscow costs about half as much as the same burger in New York, highlighting the discrepancies in purchasing power. The World Bank's updated data, now based on 2021 figures instead of the outdated 2017 data, reflects Russia's true economic standing, showing that Russia actually overtook Japan in 2021 and has maintained its position as the fourth largest economy since then. But before we continue, if you're enjoying this briefing, please kindly support this channel by liking and clicking on the subscribe button below to subscribe to this channel and to help you to learn of your preferences and enable you to receive new video updates every time they are uploaded. Thank you. Let's get going. President Vladimir Putin had set a goal for the Russian government to achieve economic growth ahead of the global average. Before the Ukraine war began, Russia's economic growth was lagging and near stagnation. However, the invasion of Ukraine in 2022 brought about a significant boost to the economy, driven by military Keynesianism, making Russia the fastest-growing major economy in the world. Putin's target for Russia to secure the fourth place in global economic rankings was achieved ahead of schedule. He had instructed his cabinet to prepare measures to achieve this by March 31, 2025, but Russia surpassed Japan earlier than expected. By distancing itself from the West, Putin has strategically aligned Russia with the global south, where developing countries are experiencing rapid economic growth compared to Western nations. China and India hold the first and third positions in global PPP rankings, respectively, and are expected to become leaders in nominal terms over the next few decades. Many of the fastest-growing economies are also from the global south, indicating a shift in economic power. As reported by Ben Intelli News, Russia has shifted its economic model from austerity to heavy investment, spurring growth in what is now referred to as Putinomics. Alongside significant investment in the military-industrial complex, Putin has launched the National Projects 2.1 program to invest in the civilian economy, aiming to improve the quality of life for ordinary Russians. In his recent Guns and Butter speech, Putin emphasized this dual approach. The war has inadvertently benefited Russia's poorest regions, and as Ming Intelli News reported, the country's despair index, measuring inflation, unemployment, and poverty, has reached its lowest level ever this year. These economic changes have significantly increased Russia's growth potential. Before the war, growth estimates were around 1 to 1.5 percent, but now they have risen to approximately 3.5 percent. Last year, Russia's economy surprised analysts with a 3.6 percent expansion. This year, the World Bank has almost tripled its growth forecast for Russia, raising it from 1.1 percent to 3.2 percent. The Russian Economic Ministry shares this optimistic outlook. Despite the World Bank's PPP-adjusted economic size of Russia, there are indications that the actual size might be underestimated. The World Bank estimates that 39% of Russia's economy operates in the shadows, compared to only 10% in Japan. If this shadow economy were accounted for, it would add an additional $2.5 trillion to Russia's $6.5 trillion PPP-adjusted economic size, further widening the gap with Japan. In parallel political developments, President Putin warned that Russia could provide long-range weapons to other nations to target Western locations in response to NATO allies allowing Ukraine to use their arms against Russian territory. Putin also reaffirmed Moscow's readiness to use nuclear weapons if it perceives a threat to its sovereignty. These remarks were made during the Street Petersburg International Economic Forum, where Putin addressed senior news leaders of international agencies. Putin criticized recent Western actions, stating they would further undermine international security and potentially lead to severe problems. He noted that the involvement of NATO countries in supplying arms to Ukraine equates to their direct involvement in the war against Russia, prompting Moscow to consider similar actions. He suggested that Russia might supply comparable weapons to regions where they could be used against countries that pose a threat to Russia. The United States and Germany have authorized Ukraine to target specific locations on Russian soil using long-range weapons. According to a Western official and a U.S. senator, Ukraine has utilized U.S. weapons to strike inside Russia under new guidance approved by President Joe Biden, aimed at defending Kharkiv. Putin claimed that the use of Western-supplied weapons involves personnel from those countries controlling the missiles and selecting targets, potentially leading Moscow to take asymmetrical steps elsewhere globally. The U.S. military, however, denied controlling the missiles or the targets for Ukraine. During his dialogue at the forum, Putin emphasized that Russia retains the right to supply similar weapons to other regions where they might be used to target sensitive facilities of countries that are currently targeting Russia. 
This consideration highlights Russia's stance on retaliatory measures and its strategic positioning on the global stage. Putin also addressed the possibility of using nuclear weapons, reiterating that Russia's security doctrine clearly outlines the conditions under which such weapons might be deployed. He dismissed the notion that Russia would never use its nuclear arsenal, stating that any threat to Russia's sovereignty and territorial integrity could prompt such an action. He noted that even Russia's battlefield nuclear weapons are significantly more powerful than those used by the US against Japan in World War II. In his extensive interaction with senior news leaders, Putin touched on various topics, with the ongoing conflict in Ukraine dominating the session. He argued that the West had missed opportunities to end the conflict in Ukraine, citing a letter he supposedly wrote to President Biden suggesting that hostilities could end in a few months if Washington ceased applying weapons to Kiev. Furthermore, Putin discussed the future of Russia-US relations, expressing skepticism that the outcome of the upcoming American presidential election would significantly alter the dynamics between the two countries. He stated that Russia would work with any elected American president but doubted that any substantial change in American policy toward Russia would occur. The annual Street Petersburg International Economic Forum, where these remarks were made, serves as a platform for Russia to showcase its development and seek international investors. This event, held at the Lacta Center, the headquarters of Russian gas monopoly Gazprom, emphasizes Russia's economic and geopolitical ambitions amidst ongoing global tensions. In summary, Russia's economic rise to the fourth largest in the world in PPP terms marks a significant shift achieved through a combination of strategic economic policies, increased military spending, and alignment with rapidly growing economies in the global south. At the same time, political tensions with the West continued to escalate, with Putin asserting Russia's readiness to retaliate against perceived threats, potentially reshaping global security dynamics. This intricate interplay of economic growth and geopolitical maneuvering underscores Russia's evolving role on the world stage, positioning itself as a formidable economic and military power. That's where we wrap things up for the time being. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.